So hello and welcome to this video. This time I'm gonna talk about the free-to-play weapons for every class. I'm gonna talk about the best weapons for each class later in the video and talk about the specific stats of those weapons. But first of all I wanna take a look at the best free-to-play weapons in general. For the Rifleman we've got the best free-to-play weapon, the Say Grey. The second or third best free-to-play weapons for the Rifleman are probably the MSPS Radon and the VHS-2. As fourth best weapon we've probably probably got the Asval because it's also a really good free-to-play weapon and maybe on the fifth place the Imbel IA-2 but um, just stick to those best three weapons. I think if you um, get your hands on the VHS-2 on the Say Grey or on the MSPS Radon you have already got one of the best free-to-play weapons in your hands. The Say Grey and the VHS-2 are available through Vendor, and you can just unlock them here by playing a lot and earning Vendor points. The MSBS Radon is available in boxes, and if you are lucky you'll get it permanent, but I haven't even got it permanent yet, I've just got it for like 500 days so far. But by just wasting a few Warface dollars, you can easily get it for a few days if you're lucky. For the medic class we've got the SAP-6 as the best medic weapon and as I said already I'll talk about the best weapons for each class, classes later in this video. The second and third best weapons are probably the Fabam PSS-10 as best semi-automatic free-to-play weapon for the medic and the carbon side, not carbon sidewinder, just the normal sidewinder venom as best pump action medic weapon a players. For the NG we've definitely got the Uzi Pro on the first place since that gun is just a great free to play weapon and to be honest I think it's probably the best free to play weapon of all free to play weapons in Warface. On the second place for the free to play weapons for the NG class I would probably put the Heckler and Koch MP5 A5 costume since it's just a great gun for the NG class in my opinion. And on the third free to play place I would put the PP2000. For the sniper class we've got the Orsis T5000 as best free to play weapon, the M40A5 as second best free to play weapon and the Accuracy International AT308 as third best free to play sniper weapon. And now to the pistols. The best free to play pistol in my opinion is still the Walter P99 since it's just an awesome pistol. And as I said already, I'll talk about it later because um, it's the best free-to-play weapon of its class. The second best free-to-play weapon would probably be the M1911A1, in my opinion, since it got absolutely amazing multipliers and has just got a good damage, a good RPM. Actually, pretty much everything you need. The only um, bad thing about it is it has only got seven bullets in its magazine. But if you hit the enemy's head, you'll definitely one hit him with a 6.0 head multiplier which is the highest head multiplier in the entire game. And the probably most annoying secondary we weapon is the Taurus Judge, often used by snipers because it's uh, the only, well, basically, um, revolver that sh doesn't shoot normal bullets but instead shots. Um, it's basically a shotgun and you can easily one-hit enemies on close range with it just by shooting their body, even though in the safe house it might look a bit bad on this range, but... Um, when you meet someone on this kind of range, you'll probably one hit him, especially because of it good, because of its good multipliers. All right, and now as promised, the stats of the best weapons for each class, starting with the Say Grey AR-15 for the Rifleman. This free-to-play vendor weapon has got a head multiplier of 5.0, a body multiplier of 1.0. A arms multiplier of 1.0 and a legs multiplier of 0.9. A damage of 84, a range of 15, a rate of fire of 600, an aim accuracy of 31, a hip accuracy of 15, 40 bullets in its magazine, a damage minimum of 56, a damage drop of 1.5 per meter and a reload duration of 2.25 seconds. And with these good stats, the Say Grey AR-15 it's just the best free-to-play weapon for the Rifleman. And it's also really easy to control the recoil, so you shouldn't have any big problems playing with this beautiful weapon. And the next gun is the SAP-6, the best free-to-play weapon for the Medic. It got a head multiplier of 1.2, a body multiplier of 1.0, an arms multiplier of 0 0.8, which is not that good, and a legs multiplier of 0 0.7, which is even worse than the arms multiplier, a damage of 750, a range of 6, a rate of fire of 128, 
an aim accuracy of 73, a hip accuracy of 57, and six bullets in it, or six shots in its magazine. I mean, since it's a shotgun, it doesn't shoot bullets, obviously. And it got a damage minimum of 250, a damage drop of 80 per meter, and a reload duration of 2.15 seconds. And you can't forget about the zoomed rate of fire, which is 140, which means when you zoom in with the Sap 6, you've got a higher RPM when shooting. And just like the Say Grey and the Uzi Pro, you can unlock it with vendor points. The best free to play weapon for the Enchi is the Uzi Pro, and it got a head multiplier of 3.8, a body multiplier of 1.0, an arms multiplier of 1.0, and a legs multiplier of 1.0. Its damage is 73, it got a range of 10, a RPM of 900 an aim accuracy of 30, a hip accuracy of 22, 36 bullets in the magazine, a damage minimum of 35, a damage drop of 2.5 per meter and a reload duration of 2.48 seconds. And I actually like its nickname, the laser beam weapon, or that's at least what I like to call it and um, some other people I know like to call the Uzi Pro some kind of laser beam gun because it's got zero recoil, a really high RPM, a good damage and just great multipliers and it's just really easy to kill enemies on pretty much any range actually. Even on longer ranges you can just um, laser beam those enemies with this beautiful free to play weapon. And now at last the Orsis T5000. It got a head multiplier of 5.0, body multiplier of 1.08, an arms multiplier of 1.05 and a legs multiplier of 1.05. Its damage is 350, it got a range of 45, a RPM of 46, an aim accuracy of 104, a hip accuracy of 42, 5 bullets in the magazine, a damage minimum of 295, a damage drop of 130 per meter and a reload duration of 3.65 seconds. The good thing about the Orsis T5000 is that you can easily one hit pretty much every enemy because of its good multipliers and its very high minimum damage. But keep in mind with the new armor sets it might not always one hit because the armors in Warface are getting stronger and stronger and it might sometimes take more than one shot for the Orsis T5000 to kill someone but usually it should one hit the enemies and that was it for the video I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would really like to see a lot of likes on this video again and if you haven't yet feel free to subscribe of course and just as information right now I'm gonna do a video with each of those weapons in the next few days and upload it to YouTube so you'll see how those weapons perform in plant the bomb or free for all in some longer videos that are specially dedicated to the certain weapon. Well see ya in those videos then. Bye bye.